today we are going to be going around my entire zoo and poop scooping all of my animals well, we got a whole bunch of monkey poop right here that we're gonna clean rufus is pooping right now we can make some chocolate chip cookies out of these right here <laughs> What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day and for those that are new here, well I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today we are going to be going around my entire zoo and poop scooping all of my animals. We're going to be collecting poop from servo cats, clouded leopards, capuchin monkeys, lemurs, sloths, guys, literally the craziest animals that you guys could possibly think of. So if you want to see me go around and poop scoop all of my animals that call my jungle home Well guys you are in the right place and we're gonna hop right into that All right guys, we made it to our first enclosure today that we are going to be poop scooping and that is Theo Jr.'s habitat. Theo's being a little shy, so I'm gonna put her banana right here. But basically, today, we are not gonna be really poop scooping Theo's enclosure, rather spraying the poop out. As you can see right here, Theo's eating her banana, but the floor right here, if you really get close, from all day long, there's all of this monkey poop. So the orange is actually from the carrots, but there is poop and debris all over the place. You can see that there is food and even up here on her platform that there is poop. Now, when you own these animals, you, you gotta make sure that they are cleaned every single day. Theo's enclosure is cleaned every night before she's actually brought in. And it's nice and fresh for the morning and then every afternoon we clean it out again. So we've got our hose right here. So we're just gonna pull our hose right through just like this. And we're gonna unscrew this top right here. And I guess to start, we're gonna get clean this poop on off. So we're just gonna spray all this poop on out just like that right off our deck. And we're just gonna really just spray it down. If you guys really come here, you can see all of this poop and all of this debris that's right here on the floor. You can see all this poop, all this stuff. We wanna get it nice and moist. And we're just gonna kinda spray it right here. You could really just see all of it. We're gonna spray it right here to the lip and we're gonna spray it right on out of the enclosure. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we got a whole bunch of monkey poop right here that we're gonna clean. We're just spraying it. You can really just see all the debris right here. We're just gonna get it really good. And right here we got all of it, and it's just gonna go right on out, just like this. Gonna get all this monkey poop out of here. And of course, we gotta get our big deck right here, so we're just gonna spray our entire deck off right here. We wanna just spray it nice and clean. We got this composite decking, which actually cleans off really nice. This stuff is really easy to clean. It doesn't really have anything that sticks to it. Oh, look at that. There's a monkey turd right there. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a little monkey we're just gonna spray that turd on down. We're gonna spray our barrel out, make sure it's nice and clean. We got the water coming out, we're cleaning, guys. Our floor is looking nice and clean as you can see, but I just noticed right here, guys, look at this. Look what we got right here. There's some poop up here on the shelf right here. You can see we've got some monkey turds right here, but what I wanna see right now before we spray it off, guys, doesn't smell like anything. All right, we definitely gotta spray this poop off. We definitely gotta get it off. We gotta clean this platform. We gotta get it nice and clean. We gotta get all this stuff off. So Theo's Jr. habitat is nice and clean. So now that we clean little Theo Jr.'s habitat, guys, well, we're gonna head over to Cheech and Chong, my servals, and we're gonna go poop scoop them. All right, we're heading into Cheech and Chong's habitat. Now, right now, I'm actually going through their lockout door right now. So we just went through their little lockout shift door. We're just gonna close that on up right here. And this is my Serval Boy's beautiful habitat we have here today. We got Mr. Chong Boy right here. Well, Mr. Chong Man, would you say, come say hi to your father? Thank you, Chong Boy. So we got my rescued African servals, Mr. Cheech and Chong Man. So we got Chong Boy, who's actually being really affectionate right now. Mr. Chong Boy, he's uh, coming to say hello here. He's sniffing my shoes and he's being so sweet. I'm honestly a little shocked because this is very unlike Ch Wait. Oh, it's Cheech. This is not Chong. It's Keto Boy. Wait, wait, wait. I was mistaken. This is actually Chong, man. Chong is actually really not that friendly. So to see him this friendly, guys, that's pretty cool. And we have my favorite servile boy here today, which is Mr. Cheeto Boy. Mr. Cheech, man, can I say hello to you? Cheech, where are you going? Well guys, it looks like Cheeto Man doesn't want to say hi, so let's go pick up some poop. I've got my glove, I've got my poop bag, and now, Chong Man, can you show me where the poop is? So basically, the servos kind of poop like right here by the door, and oh, I see it already. So we do this every single day. As you can see, there is a bunch of poop right here. Now, to, right now, it looks like a rock. You can see that looks like a rock, that looks like a rock, that looks like a rock, but in fact, 
this is not a rock, but this is actually little turds right here. So we've got our little poop bag and we come in here literally every single day to pick up some poop. So we're gonna get our poop bag ready just like that. And we're just gonna kind of pick up these little, we're gonna pick up these little gems right here, these little pieces of gold. We're just gonna put them right in our bag just like that. And this is a part of daily zookeeping here. Everyone always thinks taking care of animals is about just hanging out with them and giving them love. And I love to do that, but for the most part guys, I'm picking up poop. And we have one, two, three, four, five last pieces of poop, guys. As you can see right here, we got this poop. This is the last bit of poop that we have inside of Cheech and Chong's habitat. So we're just gonna put this on in just like that. Would you look at that, guys? We got a nice little bag. Successful mission, guys. We got a bag full of poop inside of Cheech and Chong's beautiful habitat. So now that we poop scoop Cheech and Chong's, let's go to China and see if she has some gems for us. All right, guys, we made it into China's habitat here today. We have Mrs. Cheeny Weenie here. We put a fresh glove on. We change our gloves for every habitat. So before I touch some poop, let me say hello. Wait, don't claw my glove. Don't do it. But you're so nice and so cute. So China is a, still a young cat. She's not even a year old. And you can see she's just so playful. And I definitely don't recommend servals as pets. You see a lot of these guys actually online, people treating them like house cats. But these are definitely not house cats. They require a big, beautiful outdoor habitat. As you can see, we got a den box, one platform, another platform. China has got this incredible incredible scratching post. We got all kinds of toys for her, so let's see if China wants to play. We just put this in here. Mrs. Cheney, come get it! Woo! Go get it! Look at China playing with her ball. Look at that, and it just so happened that our ball landed right here by our poop. So in this entire habitat here, China actually likes to poop right here in that corner, which makes picking up the poop that much easier when it's in one place right there in that corner. So let's get our poop bag here today. So we got a nice little poop bag. We got full of goodies right here. Let's see what Mrs. Cheney Weenie left us here today with. And we've got some poop right here. We got just a couple pieces. We don't have anything too crazy because it's just one small little cat. So we got a little handful right here, all kinds of goodies into the bag it goes. And we're gonna, just gonna take a couple more pieces just like that. We got a rock there. We don't want the rock. We definitely wanna get all this poop. Cheney, say hello to the camera. Look at you. Hey, 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 let go of my mic. No, she stole it. Guys, she stole my mic. Hey, what are you doing? China just stole my mic. I was able to get it back. Hey, that was really bad. That was not nice. Not at all. No good. Would you like it? No, it's mine. We got what we came for. We got our poop, but let's get out of here before she steals my whole camera. Into the garbage our poop goes in. Now that we got to poop scoop, Theo, we got to clean Cheech Chung and China. We are gonna be heading over to Ruin Rufus, my black and white lemurs, my sloths, and then Nebula, my clouded leopard. So guys, who should we start with? Should we start with my lemurs? Should we start with Nebula? Should we start with my sloths, guys? Let me know down below. So I have decided that we are actually going to start with Rue and Rufus, my black and white lemurs. Now, Rue and Rufus normally hang out in this big habitat here, but we've actually been doing a lot of maintenance as you can see, we've got some plastic down because we've been repainting all of our lockouts black and it just looks a whole lot nicer black. So Rue and Rufus have been hanging out over in this habitat. <laughs> I made it in with my black and white lemurs, and honestly, they are more interested today in actually checking out the camera, checking out what the hose is. Oh no, guys, Rufus is pooping right now, and it's like chunky salsa. I don't know if you saw that. Rufus, what the heck? So to get started here today, we're just going to start spraying our poop just like this, as you can see, and we're going to spray it right to our drain. So we actually have a nice big drain right over this way. We're just going to keep spraying our poop just like this, right down into this drain. One minute, 37 seconds later. My lemurs are nice and clean, as you can see. We've got a spotless lemur enclosure here today. Let's actually move their ball back on up. We got our ball. We have Miss Rue hanging out right here. We've got a fresh bowl. They've already eaten all their fruit. We got fresh vegetables. We got some monkey biscuits right here. And we've got Mr. Rufus right here. Rufus, come to your father. So guys, you, as you can see, we have a nice clean enclosure. And this gets done for the lemurs actually twice a day, every single day, 365 days a year with these animals. There is no off days. So guys, now that we got to clean my lemur kids, well guys, we've got to clean Nebula, my clouded leopard, and my sloth. So guys, let me know which one should we clean first all right guys now next on our list today of poop scooping is my two-toed sloth so this right here is my summertime sloth exhibit i'm so happy with how it's looking right now you can see the landscaping is coming in so nicely we have our sloth sign but 
right now, since it's still a little bit cold sometimes at night, the sloths are actually inside of their winter rooms, but in just about two months, they're gonna get moved back out here to this incredible sloth exhibit. I absolutely love it. We got bamboo, all kinds of beautiful plants. Oh, we're gonna head in and poop scoop our sloths. Look, I've got my trash can here, and I've actually got to grab my sloth poop scooping stuff. So right here, we have our little poop scooper, just like you poop scoop some animals. So we got our scooper. So guys, let's head inside and see what we can find. We're gonna come right on in just like this. Now the sloths cannot take the cold, so that's why they're in this heated room. And we're gonna come say hi to our sloth friends. We have Mama Sid, and we have her baby Bean Jr. right here. We've got these incredible sloth kids hanging out here today. And we've got a bowl full of delicious food right here, as you can see. We've got all kinds of food in here. We've got zucchini, squash, carrots, sweet potato, leafy greens, leaf eater biscuits. Let's see if they want some food right now here today. Looks like mama doesn't want any, but let's take a look at our little baby right here, Bean Jr. Bean Jr. always says yes to meal, but I see he's got some food on his nose. I'm thinking that Bean Jr. may have already eaten some food today, but if you come over here, guys, what we're looking for is here. Right over here, we're looking at some sloth poop. So right over here, you can see we have all of our sloth poop. And what's really nice about this sloth poop right here is that this is really healthy pelleted sloth poop. If you guys look at this picture right here, this is actually a sloth fecal score guide. So this is how you can actually, if you have sloths, you can actually compare your poop to see if your sloth has healthy poop. Now these are the little pellets, which means we've got some healthy sloths that are doing well, but first guys, ooh, smells really bad. So we're just gonna put our poop right on in here and I'm gonna come here just like this and the, for the main poop part, I'm just gonna kinda grab all of it just like that and then we're gonna rake the mulch. And then this is actually our mama sloth poop, which is actually these larger little Hershey Kisses right here. We can make some chocolate chip cookies out of these right here. So we're gonna put our poop inside of our scooper and now we're actually gonna scoop the mulch that's surrounding it. So we wanna make sure it's all clean because when these sloths actually poop, they're going to pee. So we wanna get all of this mulch up that could, you know, have some pee in it. So we're just gonna take all of it just like this. And we're gonna just dump this right on in our trash can just like that. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna just continue to do the same exact thing. And once we're done scooping this, we're gonna replace it with fresh mulch. So that way we can make sure our sloths are nice and healthy. I'm gonna get out of here now that we poop scooped our sloths and all of the other animals that call my jungle home. And now, last but not least, guys, we've gotta go poop scoop Nebula. This is the last animal that we are gonna be poop scooping here today. So we've made it to her enclosure and here it is. So Nebula is actually hanging up for those of you that are new here. Nebula is hanging out way up high here. Mrs. Nebby, please come say hello. So this is Nebula, my clouded leopard. She's just way up high right now, hanging out up on the poles and this is how clouded leopards are. Clouded leopards are cats of the tree and they are true experts at climbing. So Nebula for the most part is always up high, hanging out, walking up on the poles because that is what these cats prefer. But just like any cat, Nebula has got to poop. And where does she poop? She poops right here by her drain. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of poop from last night. So we've got all of our poop right here today. So right now I'm getting one of Nebula's favorite toys, which is a palm from just like this. You can see Nebula, she loves to climb. She loves to run. Look at this. This is insane. Look at this clouded leopard girl running. She's coming here. We're going here. We're going. We're up. We're up here. Guys, this is so cool. Look at you, Miss Nebs. You will love it. You love it so much. Come on down, pretty girl. Come on down, Miss Nebs. So right here is Nebula, my clouded leopard. And as you can see, she is just the sweetest clouded leopard girl. She's just hanging out. For those of you that don't know about her eye condition, Mrs. Nebs has a very rare eye condition. So you guys can check out some of the videos on the channel of Miss Nebula. So you guys saw that clouded leopards like to climb up high and they love to hang out on the shoulders. As you can see, this is Nebula's way of saying hi to me, how she greets me. Guys, I wouldn't want it any other way. One of the rarest cats in the world and I get to spend my days hanging out with her. All right, Miss Nebs, you gotta go right over here. So I'm gonna drop Nebula off right here. Nebula's gonna hang out and right now we've got our bag and we have got to do some poop scooping here. So we're just gonna take some of this poop right here and we're just gonna put it right here here in the bag. Now, not only are we gonna pick up the poop, but I'm also gonna be spraying the enclosure down, rinsing it. We've got some fresh leopard dirt turds right here. So we're just gonna put that right on in the bag. And then we are gonna come over here and we've got one, two, three turds right here. Put it right on in the bag. And I see one last one right over here. We got a turd here. We got a little bone. So we're gonna come 
right here. Put this in the bag. We got no more leopard poop, so we're gonna take off our glove, put it in the bag, and, and we have now successfully poop scooped all of the animals here on my property that actually need poop scooping. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video, poop scooping my entire zoo. I'm so glad we were able to end it today here with Nebula. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what was your favorite animal that you guys saw today. And guys, if you're not subscribed yet to me, you wanna see more poop scooping, you want to see more leopards you want to see tigers lions turtles and tortoises and all kinds of crazy animals well guys all you have to do is go right now hit the subscribe button tap that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever i post